Hello and welcome to Sovereign Souls Unchained Mind. Uh, I wanted to do a little promo here for uh, this evening. We are going to uh, be on Burn the Corporate Fiction. Uh, great channel, just kind of starting out, really heavy duty information. Uh, the link is going to be in the description. Um, tonight on the uh, 17th of March, 2023, we're going to discuss some more about the Chase Allen uh, shooting in Utah, what had led up to it, and uh, show how the kid was actually on his own rights. I mean, he was doing what uh, was absolutely lawful. Um, also going to be addressing the idea of uh, getting a petition going around. So we're going to need the help of a lot of creators to, uh, once we get this petition going, to uh, get the judiciary to actually address open charges that are against the Federal Reserve right now um, that have just been, been being pushed aside for decades. Um, Ryan of Burn the Corporate Fiction will be walking us through that and talking to us about that tonight. Um, the, what proceed, what, what uh, follows after this right here is uh, some highlights from the show we did last night. I urge everybody to go over to Burn the Corporate Fiction and check it out. It uh, was quite a uh, quite a stream. Um, I think uh, there's some useful information there, but I just put together a few highlights from the whole thing. So be sure and go over to Burn the Corporate Fiction tonight at 9.05, I believe it is. Let's see. Uh, where does it say? Where does it say? 10.05 p.m. is what it says. It says in five hours, so five hours. No, it would be nine. So just go over there and check it out. The YouTube times are always crazy and shit. I'll put a link down in the description uh, for those of you to go ahead and check it out. So join us there. I'll be there. Hopefully there'll be some others. Um, I'm looking out to uh, people like James Freeman. Um Brian Young of Grease Monkey Videos, uh, High Impact Flicks, and here's the deal. I know he's covered some of this. Lackluster, any of the rest of you, um, and of course my regular subscribers and viewers, I urge you all to go over there and check it out. So we hope to see you there. You all have a great afternoon and enjoy um, what we put out here, the highlights from last night's stream. Private, private plates versus no plates. I like the strategy of private plate using your trust number. Haven't tried any method yet myself. Well, in my opinion, a commercial plate, one, draws attention, or a, a private plate, one, draws attention to you, and two, is still advertising. Right? So, I mean. Yeah, so like, like I said, hanging your shingle out. That's what they call, like, when a business went into business. They're, they would hang their shingle out. That's, so that's an old term for that. The private, the private plate. I mean, if you want, you know, if you, if it makes you feel better, it's it's kind of like, it's kind of like putting a target. You know, so you're going to come across these interactions, and that's going to be necessary, and you have to know how to stand on your rights. And each interaction is going to be different based on the level of uh, tyranny that the cop is is willing to engage in, right? Because some cops have a so like a, a severe severe superiority uh complex right and they 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 think they're god essentially that how dare you not give me your identification when i ask or you they a lot of them literally think that you have to they think that you have to without reasonable suspicion right right and you do not there's no reason you ever have to identify yourself and people say what if it's a stop and identify state that's the dumbest shit i've ever heard in my life get out of that state because that state is done State's hey, over with. Here's something I'd like to see challenged on the Fourth Amendment is the use of these dogs. Okay. So if they run a dog around and the dog, quote, unquote, hits on the car. Okay. They say that that gives them probable cause to search. I say, no, that just gives you probable cause to get a warrant to search because doesn't say anywhere in the fourth amendment unless a dog tells you so, so it says that it, it that it, you have to have a warrant if you've gotten that far you you're already losing because the whole point is he doesn't have the right to harass you 
unless you're suspected of a crime, which does not include any civil infraction. They're, those are not crimes. Those are revenue collecting policies for the bankruptcy. Those are part of the trust indenture. Laws are universal. Laws are based on the Ten Commandments. Laws actually have victims which are injured and have complaint that they can actually lost, go and lost injury or harm. Swear an affidavit, sign an affidavit, right? Swear right. to tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Their hand on a Bible, and then they can lay claim against you before a jury. Right. Right. That's a crime. The shit that these cops are trying to enforce is they're not crimes. They're, bi no. they're business, they're commercial laws. That's it. that's it. They're commercial codes, right? You can call them laws, but they only take on the color of law. And that's what the color of law means. It has the color, it's been colored with law, but it's not actually law. It's just, just made to be enforced as law, right? And it only applies to you if you consent to it. And so when you say it like how I said it, that's the best way to say it. And they're not always going to, they, they're probably going to want to bring a supervisor, right? And yeah. they may not even, you know, they may just be like, all right, well, we're just going to fucking run your shit or whatever, you know, take you out, force, take your ID out of your pocket, do whatever. But then at that point, they're violating your natural rights. They're violating, uh, you have a case, you know what I mean? You have a case against them. But there was, uh, just recently, though, now I just saw a guy. Oh, fuck. I think. Well, hold on. Brian, go ahead. Keep on. I'll find it because I'll find because it. Because I got to take this to where you take the case. You have to take the yeah. case to district, federal district courts, right? Or international courts, specifically. Um, and federal district courts are international courts, by the way. Um, and beyond that, though, you just, it's very, it, you just explain to them. Like, you cannot force me into slavery. This is what this is. A, a, a Federal Reserve note is a, is a debt security. It's backed by the collateralized property of the people of this country, okay, which requires consent. You cannot force me into debt slavery. You cannot. There are laws against that. So the Emancipation Proclamation, that's what I was getting at earlier. A proclamation is a mandate. It's an executive order. It doesn't have any legal force whatsoever. OK, but really what it was, was the standardization of slavery. So people look at it as if it ended slavery. But oh, no, it did not. Because right after the Civil War, they passed the 13th and 14th Amendments. They ratified the 13th and 14th Amendments, which essentially legalized slavery in a, in a sense that now they could take all these newly freed uh, African-Americans and they can arrest them for whatever fucking shit they want to say because those African Americans also now are United States citizens in order to have any rights under our constitution. So they have to have that citizenship with the United States. That's one of the reasons that they were able to ratify the 14th Amendment. Well, that and and excluding most of the southern states from the ratification process who are not in favor of it, right? Um but now that 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 14th Amendment black hole puts you to the subject, you're not protected by the Constitution anymore. Now you're completely subject to the legislation of Congress. So they went around and arrested all these black people that were just freed. And then they had this this program called convict leasing. OK, where they went. They, so they arrested you and then leased you back to the farm, the plantation or whatever, or to a factory or to a mine or whatever that, that you were at before. So basically, the, the, this corporation that calls itself the United States just put itself in the place of the slave owner that was at the time. So it was the standardization of slavery. That's what it was. So the, the news just put their total bias on this, right? A sovereign citizen is a, I guarantee you, neither one of them listening to that kid. And the fact that his mother also knows, it sounds like the family is very well informed uh, on this subject that neither one of them would have referred to themselves as a sovereign citizen no. saying it's a jobless employee. Right. Uh, he was in fact saying that he is not a fucking citizen of the United States. And what he was saying to that cop when he said he wasn't chase Allen, because they identified him as chase Allen uh, at the beginning of the segment, is he's saying that chase Allen represents a trust company. Okay. That, that what you're reading right there, that's not the living me. That is the, the, the trust company. That I'm the fiduciary representative of is what he was trying to express. And the irony, the irony of that is his name is Chase. And they murdered, they murdered him. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that is kind of ironic, but they murdered him. And now, so this, they're testing us. That's what this is. They're testing us to see if we're going to let this slide. All right. There's no way. There's no way. And it sounds like his mama's not going to let it slide either. She sued for 
Yeah, she knows what's going on. So this, I'm very interested in see how this turns out because what they just did is they murdered him because of their ego. That's what happened. They they did not like that he wasn't licking their boots, and they fucking five cops shot him to death. But um, you know, somebody else here in the chat had said something about that too. That this could be, you know, a psyop. This absolutely could be a psyop to discourage people away from that because there's a huge amount of people really looking into this shit now, Ryan. It really is. I had not even heard of it, but this is going to be not. No, I'm not just this case. I mean, I'm talking about uh, right to travel and oh, all that shit. There's really a lot more people looking into it now than ever did. That's why they're doing this. Yeah, this that's is, what I was. This wondering. is a, a litmus test, basically. Let's see where they go with it. It's only a two minute three minute thing it's taking a deeper look now into the anti-government beliefs of a man that was shot and killed by farming anti-government according beliefs. to police documents chase allen told officers he was not required to cooperate with them chief investigative reporter wendy halloran joining us tonight and wendy documents showed that chase and his mother diane had some similar beliefs well heidi and mark chase allen's mom sued farming and Farmington police over a traffic stop. Court documents paint a history with that department. Now in those documents, she so shows strong anti-government sentiment. One key phrase, American state national, opened up a whole world for experts I talked with. Farmington police say during the stop, Chase Allen asserted his independence from the law and his belief oh, that he was not for required second. to- Two things. One, how long ago did this happen? Uh, the first first of the month yeah. okay secondly they're trying to use this i firmly believe well, it, i want to see what the mother says i want to know why they don't tell us what the outcome of the lawsuit which it was probably favorable for the mother because they right. don't mention that she lost it which they absolutely would if she had right and uh they're going to use this to try to paint uh that specific it's right here fucking title eight of the united states code yeah title, title eight of the united states code right um where the hell is the exact section i have it here is uh well i'm on it i can't fucking find that but yeah i showed you guys earlier from court oh there it is uh title eight chapter 12 sub chapter three Part four, section 1502 says certificate of nationality and issued by secretary of state for person, not a naturalized citizen of the United States. And in the description, it says American national. It says uh, any naturalized citizen of the United States who presents satisfactory evidence uh, that that he is an American national and that such certificate is needed for use in judicial or administrative proceedings. Right. So that right there by itself. Uh, but they're going to try to turn this into like a terror group. And I will tear anybody apart on this motherfucking subject because what we just witnessed was murder. And I can prove it. We need to get this shit out there. And yeah. I will be more than happy to go on any one of your shows and explain exactly what's wrong with this and show all the, the legitimate evidence, congressional record, everything of where our property rights have been unlawfully mortgaged without our consent. And yeah, we've yeah. been placed under an unlawful trust indenture that that kid was trying to demonstrate. He had taken the legal process to remove himself. He had the passport that said he was an American national. He had it. He gave it to him. And the only discrepancy they could find to shoot this kid to death was that he merely wanted to point out the difference between a, the trust company identified by a piece of paper and his living self, which is lawful and absolutely correct. Yep. Yep. As lawful and absolutely correct. I just showed you guys. I'll show you again. Here, there's, there's a lot of holster sniffers out there. Their channels that they love this shit. They're saying, "Oh, this is the yeah, that's murder." Yeah. yeah. Here, no, look at look at this though. One more time, just for the camera, just for the holster sniffers, right? You can you can fast forward to uh to this section of my uh. Hold on. You can you can fast forward to this timestamp on my video, or recommend anybody else do, and look at this motherfucking. U.S. code right here, and this is not even close to, this is the tip of the iceberg of the evidence I have for this, but this is just what I happen to have up on my screen, right, uh, from one of my last streams. Anyway, let's see here. Right here, guys. Look. Let's yep. go up. Look at this. Title 8, Chapter 12, Subchapter 3, Part 4, Section 1502. 
certificate of nationality issued by Secretary of State for person not a naturalized citizen of the United States for use of a proceeding of foreign state uh, or uh, yeah of a foreign state, and that foreign state is that corporate municipality. Okay, yep. and uh, right here, American national. Now notice it gives you the the definition <laughs> for the United States. It gives you the definition for foreign state, but it's only going to give you the definition of national here. It leaves out American, right? This is intentional deception mm. on, on part of the Bar Association. And these fucking cocksucking cops are their Goombas. What this kid was trying to, to do was tell them that he's not under trust and denture. He knows history. He knows the law and he knows his rights and he does not consent to involuntary servitude, Right. Well, he doesn't consent to servitude and the cop cannot place him in involuntary servitude would be right. a more correct way to say that. Right. Um, and that's not only against our constitution and our laws here in, in uh, this Republic, but it's internationally unlawful. You can't just go around slaving people unless you're a banker, apparently, because that's the difference. The bankers are the slavers now and the lawyers are the administrators. And the fucking police are the compliance enforcement. And that's yeah, yeah. that is the exact breakdown of the system we live under right now. And you know what? This is a scare tactic, too. Yep. This is a scare tactic. Fuck them. Fuck them. The important thing to realize, though, is at a certain point, they again are a hostile foreign military force. So if they're intent on using force against you, right? Mm hmm. Then just refuse to answer questions, exercise your rights, and let them do what they do. Peaceful noncompliance. Dude, I support his family so much. Like this kid could end up being a martyr. If his if his family is as knowledgeable as they seem to be, this could really blow up in, oh God, in the establishment's yeah. face. This could really blow up in the establishment's face. And it only strengthens my resolve. Fuck them. Dude, fuck them. Are you serious? Here's a Bully, high school bullies with a badge. Like you are not operating in a lawful capacity. You're not some virtuous noble person. Okay. Oh, you are an extortion. You're a, an extortion professional for hire is what you are. You're a professional extortionist. I've been charged in the judiciary against the federal reserve board and the secretaries of treasury. Right. Um, and, and multiple other agents that I have read on this channel. There's an open charge of treason, right? You know what? That's what we should do. We should circulate a petition to every fucking channel. Every channel to bring that's in our network that's on our side, right? Get a few thousand signatures on there at least. Who would be in charge to bring that up, though? I mean, once you got the petition, who would that be? Who would be the person that has to go and, you know carry that out i mean like okay so i'm assuming this thing's just still sitting there being stacked upon not what we not would do is we publicize it no listen first of all the very first thing we'd have to do is publicize it all right through this is an idea right here yeah, first yeah, thing yeah. we'd have to do is publicize it right you know through our videos obviously and bring public awareness to it so that they can't sweep it under the rug right and then i don't give a fuck who brings it to the, to I'll do it or somebody else can do it. Cause I know there might be a fight for, Oh, I want to be the one who gets credit for, but I don't give a fuck. It's well, I'll just, tell you what, let's do a collaborative effort. And, um, you know, we could just do a show on that. You know? Yes. Yes. Um, I think so. I, we and, need to bring everybody in on this and you know what? We need to put it under the banner of that kid's murder. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes. We need to put it under the banner of that kid's murder. Let's get this shit going, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. This is good. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's get this shit going, guys. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we need to prepare a petition. Absolutely. So I mean, who would that who would that petition be addressed to? The the DOJ or well the DOJ the is the judiciary, DOJ. or is it go to See, there's where I start running into shit. There's so many little um, things. Oh, just incidentally, DEA, what's that stand for? Uh, Drug Enforcement Agency? Nope. Drug what? Enforcement Administration now. It's always been an agency in my world, but now it's administration. Hmm. 
Interesting. <laughs> it's, it's not something well, they changed. It's always been that. But anyway, back on so the thing. Here's the issue, though, right? Is that so the original judicial branch, so the Supreme Court is is supposed to be still the Supreme Court, theoretically, right? Um, but they've been reduced to making guidelines in equity. Um, the most important thing about this petition, before we decide exactly who to serve it to, right, is to get it going. Because what it represents is the will of a majority of people, right? We can make it a declaration or uh, a declaration and an affidavit simultaneously. I mean, that's possible. I, we can we can make it several things at once, admissible in any court, right? And have people sign on to it. We can do a, a petition, a declaration, and an affidavit. But here's a simple fact: is that the fucking artificial intelligence so it knows that it's still open in the judiciary. Tried to lie to me. I have evidence of that. I have the congressional record where the charges were made, kicked up to the judiciary, and they're still standing open. They've never been resolved. They've never been addressed. They've never been closed. They've never been touched. They just got swept under the rug. And they're still open. It's still, it's still standing. There is no, it, there's no way, right? That needs to. That, okay, so where is it sitting at? I mean, where, where, where is it? It got point. kicked over to the judiciary for review from the legislative branch to the judiciary, which was controlled by the Bar Association. So obviously they just didn't do anything with it. 